it under stage 17 right now. Like I said, my original plan was to uh, run down and see Stoneman Lake because there's a dirt road that goes there. I may still do it, but... There we go, Stoneman Lake Road. Yeah, I'm sure glad they put that sign right at the turn. Boy, their signage just sucks, man, I tell you. Not unless I missed it, but man, I didn't remember seeing it, but yeah. Oh, Stoneman Lake Road, you just went past it. All right, so we're gonna stop here. No one's behind me. Uh, Mormon Lake, of course you can't read it. Look at that sign. Couldn't you like get a better thing? Uh, Mormon Lake, who knows? Uh, Flagstaff 38, Happy Jacks back that way 48, this, uh, or I mean four. And uh, Clint Wells 20, and State Highway 87 is 20. Okay, so Flag's another 40 miles up that way, up north that way <laughs> so all right let's go down this dirt road to Stoneman Lake all right before we get going let's make sure our camera still got the light going on yep all right god look at this I mean if, this is a picture shot wow look at that Yeah, that shifter is way too, uh, oops, cutting down the low spot. I gotta start fishing too. All right, <laughs> funny what you think of. There's water, I gotta start fishing. Not here, but. Okay. Let me take a picture. Huh, very cool. What a pretty spot. I mean, I'm not sitting in Sedona having muffins, but still a good spot. Okay. Let's go see Stone and Lake. But today, we will cross it off the bucket list. Woo! All right. No garbage service. Entering blah, blah, blah. Okay. Funny, they can make really good signs that tell you what not to do and prevent you from doing things, but uh, they have a hard time making signs along the trail. Oh, this is badass, man. Stoneman Lake, six miles, Interstate 17, 15, Apache made 13. Um, years ago, when I was flying forest fires, I uh, um, was flying out the Flagstaff. I can't remember the guy I was flying with, but we would fly over this area, over Flagstaff and everything, uh, usually twice a day doing recons, looking for fires and smokes. Um, and Apache Bay, that's just a big old uh, landmark, but it's cool, like all this stuff, it's like, oh yeah, you know, it's like, uh, oh yeah, Pine Mountain, oh yeah. That was one of our checkpoints, reporting points. Catchy Bay, Pine Mountain, or whatever. But a little bit of widget history there. But yeah, I was flying with an old Indian guy. And uh, man, he just knew everything. You know, when you're with the local guys, and man, look at that. Nice. There's a lot of people uh, that come up here and put their trailers up. Kind of a base camp type thing. Oh, well, this is cool. I'm glad to be doing this. I mean, it's not a hard road. This is road number 213. But, uh, yeah, this is uh, a couple miles back. DR will make sure it worked on this road. And it's a smooth road. It's like, I'm doing a 50 Five right now. 55, 55, yeah. Whoops, maybe I should be going this fast. I'm standing up. Yeah, I definitely have to come back here.
Wow, what a treat. Yeah, no good camping back here. Man, blow this spot off. Crash off my list. Yeah, this would be an awesome spot here. Man, several spots. And next time I stop, I'm gonna close these vents in my pants. <laughs> I really don't need that 50 degree air. <laughs> Coming in my pants. I tell you, since I've been doing the motorcycle stuff, I've seen so much of Arizona that I hadn't seen in all the other years I've been here. So, man, just having the bikes and even just doing the YouTube thing. Entering private land. Okay. Camp Yerabacha. Yerabacha? All right. Well, I know this road's not private, so I don't care. But anyway, what I was saying is, uh, yeah, I've done so much stuff since I've had to, or gone so many places since I've had to do this part. And even just doing the YouTube thing, it's like, oh, very, very cool. I can uh, post it and you know, it gives me a little bit of motivation. So. Wow. <laughs> you know, I'm just laughing. It's like, for the past two, three hours, I've been running down the road, 65, 70 miles an hour. And now I'm just right at home on the uh, on this gravel road. You know, and that's what sells this bike is the uh, the motor, the reliability of it. The price is kind of a can do a lot of things for the money bike. A little washboard. Yeah, I've never been back here. Well, it's nice to know it's not a very far road to I-17. And I'm kind of wondering that might be a good thing to do. Wow, nice camping spot up there. Um, not sure whether they do that or... No, I'll just go back the way I came. Liberty or something. You know, if you have a SUV like that, it's almost like having the van where you can go back there and unload the thing and then uh, fold down the seats and you're pretty much done. And I smell a campfire and there it is right there. So, wow. This is beautiful back here. I am on the Stoneman Lake Road and it is beautiful back here. So far, highlight of the trip is this. Shit. It's one of those things where it'd be kind of a slow ride in the car, but on a uh, Soft suspended dual sport, man, it makes pretty quick work of it. There we go. Stoneman Lake Overlook. <laughs> oh, and this is like a massive, uh, 
Oh, they got porta potties, excellent. Oh, table, excellent, nice. Nowhere to go. Do you have a motor vehicle use map? You are here, Stoneman Lake. Okay, so conscientious camping. Stay limit 14 days. Camp at least 3,000 feet from rivers and streams. Do not drive through camp or open meadows. 14 days, holy shit. I could camp, move. Maybe that's what those people are doing. Okay, carry a download of free motor vehicle use map. Stan Disney goes sit down. Oh, nice artwork. Guy in the Jeeps broke down. <laughs> yeah, they got girls riding ATVs. <sighs> Doesn't happen too much. Okay, so we're here. Whoops, we're here. I-17's over here. I can go catch the road for that, or I can ride back, catch the three. Now this is a good map here I would like to have. An MUV. See, this would be good. Camp and then just run the roads. Just have fun. Voila. Nice. And, yeah, see, Buck Mountain, that used to be one of ours. Uh, checkpoints. Okay. All right, let's go look the overlook. Overlook. Wet Beaver Wilderness. I'm not saying anything. Okay, so here's the overlook. <laughs> yeah, and this lake is, uh, I, wow, it actually worked. My kickstand switch hasn't been working for a while. Um, I believe this is one of the two natural lakes in Arizona. Yeah, most of the good part looks over here. Wow. Okay. I got the old 40 again. Excellent. Since we seem to be finding critters. Man, look at that. Yeah, the fuller part of the lake's over here. But, oh, very cool. All right, I have been to Stoneman Lake. Yeah, what a nice area. Good camp, I mean a good uh, picnic area. DR looks nice. Wow, what a day. 